Hi guys, so I was just looking through my old videos and I looked at the last video I did of the Poland house build update which was technically only two months ago, but so much has changed. It made me really realize how much has changed in two months and really appreciate how fast things are going, which it hasn't felt like that at all. It's felt very slow, but actually seeing what it looked like two months ago versus now, it's not that bad. Um, so what I'm gonna do is same as the last video, I'm gonna quickly go through the numbers in a little bit less detail than last time. So if you are interested in those initial ones, go watch the last video I did. I will link that uh, somewhere um, or just go on my profile. It's like a few videos ago because there I will talk through the stuff up until then. And then today I'll just talk through what's happened since uh, and the updates. And then what I'll do is again at the end, I will give you a bit of a tour and a bit of a look at what's happening. So the latest is that I have all the electrics done. Um, I don't have electricity yet, but I do have uh, most of the electrics done actually. I have the plumbing done and I've got the underfloor heating done. And then just before Christmas, I'm gonna have the sort of cement poured over the underfloor heating and then that has to dry for about five to six weeks and then I'm going to do the floors uh, and in the meantime about a month after we pour out the cement I'm going to do the ceilings which have just completely thrown me with how expensive they are oh my god um, but yeah let's dive into the numbers so as you can see um, what we have here is the total that I've spent so far is 389,000 zloty, so about 70,700 pounds. Um, and you've got the breakdown here in terms of obviously the pole removal, that's not changed. Uh, the heat pump's not changed. Um, and then the materials, labor. Then you've got other, which is just all the other bits and bobs you can see color coded on the left. And then the fencing, um, which again, hasn't changed. So in terms of what's happened since last time, if I scroll down here, you've got I think the last thing on the last video was the windows. Um, so the remainder for the windows. So after that, I paid the balance. Uh, so they came and fixed uh, the one window that was done wrong. So I paid them the balance of 6,000. So bricks for outside is essentially the bricks that I'm using for things like the pathway and the stairs and things like that. So you'll see that in the video later. The final labor invoice was 16,700. The electricity materials were about 5,500. So all the cables and all the equipment that the electrician needed was 5,500. And this doesn't include the labor of the electrician yet because I've still yet to work that out with him and pay him. Uh, then we've got the two bits and pieces invoices, which were all the little things from the build, which kind of threw me because I knew that I had like a bill open at these building sites, uh, uh, building places. And I was expecting like a grand or two with like, you know, these are things like foam sprays and nails and like all the little things. Uh, so when I got the first one, I was like, okay, cool. I was kind of expecting that. Um, and then the second one came uh, for 3,200 and I was like, oh my God, <laughs> I was not expecting that. Um, then the window sills were 4,000 zloty. Uh, the septic tank was a little bit cheaper than expected. So that was 13,000. Um, and then what I think is called plaster on the walls, uh, you'll see it later. So tell me if I'm wrong and it's not plaster, um, but that ended up being 12,000. So again, cheaper than I expected. Uh, because the surface area ended up being smaller than I expected. Um, and then I've purchased two toilets uh, for 1,800. So they were 900 lots of each. And I had to purchase them because the plumbers essentially did most of it uh, before we pour out the cement. And then again, you'll see it in the video later. Then all we do is pop on the actual toilets. Uh, so all in all, uh, we've got, like I said, about 390,000 slaughter. Um, and then in terms of what's still to come, uh, we've got the cement for the floor, uh, which I mentioned. So that's gonna be about 4,000 
zloty, the ceilings and attic insulation. That's going to be 24,000 zloty. That's insane. That is so, so much money. Um, so it's about half and half in terms of materials and labor. So the materials, the majority of that is good quality, good parameters wool. So again, as with everything, you know, if you've watched my videos before, I would rather pay more now and have a better, well insulated house to then pay less on a monthly basis. So I am getting sort of everything almost like better parameters. So even the styrofoam that's insulating the house is the graphite one, it's uh, thicker, etc., etc. Um, then the heat pump installation still to come. So that's going to be about 7,000. Electricity mains still 700. Uh, the plumbing installation, about 5,000, so that will be coming shortly because obviously uh, they are almost done with that. The electrician, I'm expecting about 8,000 still to come, so we'll see how that pans out. Uh, the kitchen from Ikea, I have, actually I will show you that as well, so I have the project now, um, so I know roughly what it's going to cost. Obviously it might change before I actually order it, but I did meet with an Ikea sort of project person, um, I don't know what they're actually called, uh, but the people that actually do the kitchen projects. Um, and this is roughly what it comes out to be. Uh, and then the bathrooms, again, about 20 grand, we'll see. And then the floor tiles, labor and materials, again, approximately about 20 grand. So all in all, about 123,000 still to come, which is about 23,000 pounds. So in terms of what I have in my bank account currently, uh, I have about 43,500. Um, okay, it's not all in my bank account. I have some in cash, because uh, a lot of people here want cash. Uh, but this is sort of the cash on hand, if you will, in terms of bank and cash, uh, which means that I am about 80,000 lot of shorts, which is about 14,000 pounds short. So obviously I will do what I can as I go along and then we've got paydays coming. Um, so every payday will sort of add to it and then I can get more and more done. So basically that's the current financial situation um, obviously it's thrown me a little bit because it is ending up uh, costing a lot more than expected but i am a doing a few extra things and b you know the prices have skyrocketed so i'm doing what i can and we'll see how it goes i'm still hoping that i will move in sort of spring summer so we'll see again how that goes okay so that's enough of me talking and I'm going to show you a video of the house now and take you on a tour and talk you through it. Um, and then I'm also going to show you the kitchen project. So I hope you enjoy that. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Okay, so this is half of my front garden. Well, half done because obviously it's not going to stay this muddy. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've done all this. Ignore the dog. Uh, bowls <laughs> um but yeah this looks really really cool i think and when it all grows it'll be even nicer and then this is the pavement and the stairs to the house uh, which i think look very pyramid like obviously they're really dirty um but there's a reason for that uh, we sort of put the sand on here uh, to protect them a little bit um because obviously initially the sand needs to go in here yeah look at how dirty my shoes are um, the sand needs to go in here uh, in between the bricks and then on here it sort of just protects when everyone keeps pulling equipment in and out. And then yeah, the front is uh, all insulated now. Um, obviously it looks like crap, um, but that's because it's not finished. Um, I sort of did the bare minimum here because uh, to finish it and make it look really pretty. It's like another 10,000 zlotter and it's not necessary, it's just aesthetic. So for now it's staying like this. So this is the septic tank. It looks really ugly, um, but what can you do? Squish, 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 squish. I'm sort of an idiot for um, basically asking for this to all be evened out because it's insane now. It's just one big, look at that, one big pile of water and mud and it's not ideal. Um, but this is my house from the other side. So uh, I posted this, I think, on Instagram, but I didn't uh, include this in my last update because it wasn't here. Uh, so this is the terrace and the big window. And oh my God, literally, <laughs> I can't walk. Uh, so this is where the terrace is going to be. So we've poured out the cement. Um, and then obviously the sand here 
the window and then look how pretty it is underneath. Okay, and then when you walk in, I'm going to walk through. Uh, this is the underfloor heating, like I said. Uh, so it's all done now. But I realized um, I hadn't shown you the walls. So you can sort of see here, they are all looking like actual walls with electricity and things, um, which I didn't have before. So yeah, look at that. Um, and then I've got the floor at the top so that's where I can have like a little hiding place um and yeah it looks like a proper house now doesn't it so if we walk through um I can show you uh, this is the utility room now all done uh, and then uh, guest room and then you can see the effect here the most I think uh, although there's a few chips on here, so they did uh, ruin it a little bit. The reason it's like multicolored is because it's drying. Uh, so the whitest bits are the driest bits, uh, and then the dark bits are where there's still water. So it's still not completely done. And then here's where I'm going to work. So that's going to be my desk and those power outlets. And yeah. Uh, so here you can see what I imagine is plaster but obviously tell me if I'm wrong, but it's this layer here between the brick and where the paint's gonna go. Pretty good view from that window, isn't it? Pretty nice trees. <laughs> okay, I can't walk in, but you can see here's the floors. I'm not allowed to walk on it for a couple of days. Um, but yeah, it's all nice and even. Uh, so just need to wait for it to dry now. Okay, so this is the kitchen project uh, that I've got. So the fridge is gonna be my own. Um, and then in that corner, essentially where the kitchen is, this is what it's gonna look like. Here behind the fridge, uh, I like what she's done here because I just had, when I did this initially, um, just like a normal shelf and one of these, and it looks really weird. But actually with this sort of thing, it looks really cool. Uh, it means I have a lot less counter space, but I'm hoping it will still be okay and that I'll still have space for everything I need. Um, and then I quite like that she's added these sort of wine racks here um, and then these little, I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, these little shelves here. Ignore this thing on the right. Obviously, it's not going to look like that. At all. It's all open space. Um, and then here we've got the island, uh, which has space for bar stools here. Um, and then obviously it's going to have drawers and a shelf here in the middle. And then if we go to the other side, um, this is sort of what it looks like here. So uh, essentially you've got the chimney here and then a big cupboard here and then the induction kitchen there. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. That's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.